Identity 2003 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Identity from 2003. Now, to be honest, this was one of the first R-rated films that I ever remember watching right when it came out. I went around the corner to one of my neighbor's house. I knew this guy who was actually a lot younger than me, but they basically let him watch whatever movies he wanted to watch. So I came on by and they had this and I really, really enjoyed this movie. I've always really enjoyed it. I've watched it once or twice since then, but it has been a long time. And I was like, wow, it's been like 17, 18 years. So I'm like, I'm sure I was gonna see some things that I wasn't so impressed with. Maybe I would see some mistakes this time around, you know, especially because I was watching it when I was like 13, 14. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I was absolutely blown away by this movie. I mean, I would almost say it's a near perfect mystery horror kind of thriller. There's basically two mysteries going on. There's a group of people in a hotel and people begin to start dying. So there's that kind of whole aspect of like who's doing it, like what's going on. And then there's also this big bald guy who's on trial for murder he's supposed to die tomorrow but they found some evidence and they're holding this hearing in the middle of the night to see if they could plead insanity for him because he's gonna die tomorrow so they have to come up with it very very fast there's the whole mystery of who is the killer or who is the bad person and then there's the mystery of how this is all connected like how does this guy who's gonna die tomorrow who maybe they're gonna plead insanity for how does that have anything to do with all these people in a hotel and then Initially, if someone was gonna ask me about this movie, I would describe right away how the bald guy has a connection to the people in the hotel. But after re-watching it this time, they hold that twist for a very, very, very long time. I mean, all the way up until maybe the last 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit ambiguous and not describe very much about this movie. It's one of those ones that the less you know, the better, but at the same time, it's very, very quick. I don't really see someone getting very bored by it. The initial opening scene is them getting ready to um, have this hearing in the middle of the night. And I gotta admit, that's not the most impressive, but right after that, you jump to this hotel where people are having these issues and they're meeting up, it's all rainy, things like that. Once you're at the hotel, I mean, I don't think anybody would be bored with it. Everything is just so quick, it's R-rated. It's, in my opinion, very attention grabbing. At the same time, it's one of those movies that the less you know, the better. It's good for you not to know, and it's enjoyable the whole time, so you don't have to wait like 45 minutes to be like, what's going on? This is super boring, you know? If I were to come up with one con, even at that point, it would be stretching. I gotta say, this is a near-perfect mystery horror thriller, and even on IMDb, most of the time, these movies are like high fives, maybe in the sixes, and this was rated a 7.2. The kills are very intense here. You don't really see too much of it going on because they're trying to have this mystery aspect. There's two kills in particular, one with a baseball bat and one involving a laundromat that have just always caught my attention, you know, even from back in the day, even when I remember this movie and even re-watching it. It has some very, very intense kills and some very intense scenes as well. I do think the killer here was really well thought out. I do think in some aspects, it's something you didn't expect in an area that you didn't expect and you couldn't do this kind of a twist again because I haven't really seen a twist exactly like this if you see it you can correct me down below if you've seen a movie like this but I haven't if I were to come up with any cons here and again this is just stretching it's that the last third of this movie could have probably been an extra five to ten minutes longer it rattles down to you know maybe three people very very quick and then I don't really want to give anything away but just you really could have prolonged the life of certain characters out I mean certain characters like are pretty much gone like sometimes you'll have two characters gone within like a minute or two just like that and I felt like they could have stretched it out just a little bit longer, not by any means making it boring, but when you see how intertwined and well-written each one of these stories is, there's just so much backstory to each one that you could really just have one get cut off and like and let it breathe for maybe five to 10 minutes. So that was pretty much the only con. The last thing I noticed about this movie that I, I was worth noticing is, I think it has really, really good star power. Um, you have Ray Liotta from Goodfellas. I think he was pretty much A-level actor. And then you also had John 
John Cusack. I gotta say John Cusack probably takes the gold as the best actor here. Just putting him in with some okay other actors would have been plenty enough star power for this movie. But then you also have Ray Liotta and then they go at it. So there's just a lot of star power here. When I look back at all the performances, there's not one that stands out as bad at all. They all fit the characters really, really well. If I was gonna say buy Chire Pass, I'm going a solid buy. I mean, there's sometimes where I like the movie probably more than other people would. And I would say personally, I'm gonna get a buy. But for you guys, I would say rents. Not the situation. I would totally say this is 100% a buy worthy movie. There's so many red herrings. There's so much. It's just really one of the best mystery thrillers out there that I could possibly think of. It's near perfect, if not perfect to me. So let me just think of Identity from 2003. I loved it, as you know. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without any of you guys help. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. This is my car. You work for me.